I'll be showing you step by step how to set up back in stock alerts for your Shopify store. Now to do so, we'll be using a completely free app to make it super simple for you to set up. The app we'll be using today is called SG Notify Me Back in Stock. It allows you to auto notify customers of restocked items via email. And it is a completely free app here. And so it's just gonna have the notify me on the side of a page for a product that is out of stock and it makes it easy for customers to sign up. So I'll leave a link for this in the description below. But once you're on this page, click install. It's gonna redirect us to the installation screen. If you're comfortable with the permissions, click install. And this brings us to the dashboard of the app. So on the dashboard, we can see the notifications sent, the signups, and the ones that are most signed up. There's also the option to see our subscribers so we can manually see what products and the emails of the customers who subscribed. Let's head to settings here on the left and go to buttons and pop up. So first up, we need to make sure this is enabled on our Shopify theme. Then from there, we can go and click on the notify me embedded section, and then we can go and customize our settings. So let's go and do this now. I'll open up the app embed panel. This is going to open up the Shopify theme editor. And it's going to open up this app embed section automatically, and we can see it's been toggled on and then we can see our settings here. So at first we can set up our position, whether we want it to be on the left or right side. I'll just leave it on the right. As for the side button text, I'm fine with notify me, but I might change this color to a black instead. We can customize the text saying notify me when available. And if we were to click on this, we get a subheading as well to say fill in the required details to get notified when the product is again in stock. Next up, we can select the color and we can get some customization on the placeholder text. So I'll just leave this as email and name. And for the call to action, I'll just make this black again as well. So to finalize these settings, I'll hit save in the top right. So now that we've added it to our Shopify store theme, let's go and customize the email template. So if we go back into notify me, head to settings. And under that, if we go to email template, we can go and customize the colors and some of the text to help it match our Shopify theme. So to start off, we can also enable or disable this if we don't want the email to be automatically sent out. We can see there are two pre-built templates. We have the default and template one. Personally, I like the look of template one a little more here. Let's go and customize the colors to match our Shopify store. So let's go for a black and white for shop name. You can customize that. And we can customize the hello text and the product available text. We can also customize the button color here. So let's make this more of a red. And for the border color, let's also make this more of a red. Now, these are just going to match the colors of your Shopify theme, but I think that looks a little better already. So I'll hit save here and that's updating the email template. And just like that, it's set up. So let's go and preview that it's working correctly. So under online store, I'll click on the eye icon to view a preview of our store. And if I go and click on a product that isn't stock. If I click on the page here, I don't see any alert on the right hand side. I can see this spin the wheel pop up, but that's from another app on our Shopify store. If I head back to home again, I can scroll down to the outdoor camping bag, which is a product that's out of stock. And on the right hand side, I can see the notify me button we just set up. If I click on it, I can then go and enter my email and name and click notify me here. And just like that, it's been set up on our Shopify store. Now we don't need to do any further customization on when it should show up, but it's going to display automatically when a product is out of stock. If you've made any money on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor Profit Cal comes in the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations along with many different details, analytics, and metrics so you can truly understand your store's performance, letting you make smarter business decisions. It features a fully customizable dashboard and it's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. It links with multiple cost of goods sold providers, so make sure you check it out. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. I'll also leave a link in the description where you can access the Shopify app listing directly, both of which get you access to that 15 day free trial. So this concludes the video here on how to set up back in stock alerts 
for your Shopify store. We used a completely free app in this video that was quite easy to set up and customize. Now there are quite a few different options on the Shopify app store. So if you're looking for more features, there are different paid options that do have some free plans as well. If you enjoyed this video at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.